In this video, we see a little bit of the beautiful city of Lecce, known as the capital of Baroque with its impressive and unique style of architecture. And we eat a lot of food. This is so good. This is quite spicy. Good. Salted caramel with ricotta. My goodness. Buongiorno, welcome back to our channel. Now, we have a little confession to make. We have not been recording much for the last, I'm going to say a few days, but it's a week. Maybe it's more than a week, I can't remember. It's been that long that we don't remember, but we've been having a little bit of a holiday in the most unexpected place. But don't worry, today we are going to be taking you to Lecce. Wait, wait, before we get to Lecce, so if you watch our last video, you'll see that after striking out and a few ideas where to park for the night along this coast uh, south of Bari, we stumbled upon this semi-derelict, somewhat desolate, looked like abandoned parking lot. That, well, that turned out to be quite a stop because what happened was we woke up the next morning and we found the most beautiful blue water right there beach right there the parking lot is absolutely peaceful mm. at night we have not slept as well in i don't know how long months every morning every day we get to walk along this long long beach in fact there's even a fresh water what do you call it like a fresh water fountain it's just a tap but <laughs> no, not that. It's, it's just a oh, okay okay so we enjoyed our time lounging on the beach i actually kite surfed a few days we even tried to sup kite we sup we sunbathed we Relax. It felt like a holiday from a. Uh, it really did. It really did. It was such a relaxing week. But now we are ready. We pack Mali up. We're going straight into Lecce and we're going to see the Florence of the South. Yes, because the hanging around here gave us time to do some research and we discovered that Lecce is really a place to go and see. Okay, right, guys, let's hit the road to see you in Lecce. Okay. We're Andre and Lisa a South African-Italian couple who have been traveling together for almost 20 years to more than 40 countries. We've been full-time nomads since 2018, and over the past two years, we have been exploring Europe with Millie, our motorhome. Please subscribe to join our adventures. Well, believe it or not, this is it, Lecce. The parking lot we're in is actually quite massive. Now, we've been to this parking lot before, but it gets super, super busy in the week. There's another one at the cemetery. Actually, that's blocked off at the moment because there's some festivities this week. But this parking lot is super convenient as it's free on Sundays. If you do come here in the week, it's 60 cents an hour and there's also a day ticket. So take a walk in and go check this place out. Stay safe, Millie. Porta Napoli, the entrance to Lecce. Lecce is most famous for the Lecce stone, this yellow stone that is used in all the buildings here. And if you don't know, Dolce di Lecce is originally from Lecce. Is it really? <laughs> you wish it was. We have a channel. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go like this, all the way down to the Piazza del Duomo. Okay. And then we're gonna make our way around this way. Somewhere there's a castle. Oh, there's a castle. And then, there we go. An amphitheater. Okay. And then past the public gardens. Alright, lovely. So beautiful. Yeah, we in, we, we've been walking for 10 minutes. It's like, what? Wow. I'm gonna stop taking photos of everything. Oh my word, but just look ahead at the door, man. Okay. It's so different in that the entire building is the same color. It's not bright and elaborate, and yet it is elaborate. Wow. No. Yo, Do 
one thing in Lecce, maybe this should be it. We're going up to the viewpoint. Fortunately, it's quite expensive. 12 euro a ticket. Sure. But look at the beautiful view you do get. So if you can also get a combined ticket to see the Duomo, to go into the ministry and a few other things. Really? Yes, we're going to rather spend our money on pastries. Ah, the healthy option. <laughs> We're still on the hunt for the first <laughs> pastisseria. Do we say what it is? No, we, no, we didn't. Say. But you have to know how beautiful the city is if I am being distracted by the buildings and architecture. Amazing. Okay, but so number one is no. Oh. Nope, you have to wait. Isn't that beautiful? You bring me to all the closed attractions. <laughs> 1758. Oh, that's oh. cool. How do we get in there? So you can get a guided tour, but you have to book beforehand. Okay, how exciting is this? There is a chocolate festival inside a church and there's tasting. Go away, let's go. Let's go. Quickly. I don't know, maybe this is a very low key man because chocolate. everybody's very excited to see us. I know, it's so cool. I feel VIP like. Okay, so far so good. There's nobody here. So hopefully, uh, we're going to eat all the chocolates. An incredible setting for a chocolate festival. Let's kind of see. This is one of the things that I just love about Europe in general and especially Italy is that places like this of historical importance and so beautiful are just being used on a daily basis. Amazing. That's That's like a candied orange. So that concludes our instant presentation chocolate tasting situation. That was awesome. It was a little bit impromptu and there's actually a whole bunch more but you can there's, only spend so much time doing it. Eh? There's chocolate and wine and chocolate and grappa tastings a little bit later so we'll see. Maybe we'll come back for more. Stadio di Carlo the Fifth. Okay, although you need a ticket to get into the museum on the first floor, you can walk through from one port to the other. Let's go see. You'll never be disappointed with the quality of coffee in Italy, mm. but the quantity you might always be disappointed by. So right, right across from us is actually the castle, and this is a place called Opera. So we're going to sample some artisanal pasticciottos. Now this place looks super fancy, and it's right opposite the castle. But the one nice thing about the fact that pasticciotto are so popular in Lecce is that they cost the same no matter where you are. These but I don't think we can incredible. eat all of these though, at least. Oh my word. So this is a pistachio, cream yes. of pistachio. Then there's a ricotta and... With salted caramel salt. and a ricotta with pear. Oh. Mm. It's warm. So, so good. There's definitely no substitute for fresh out of the oven. And if you're in Lecce, I very seldom do this, recommend a specific place. But if you're in Lecce, come to Opera, which is opposite the castle. You will not be disappointed. Ooh, that's so good. Salted caramel with ricotta. Mm. My goodness. I haven't tried the pistachio yet because it's melting everywhere. Okay, we're gonna wrap this up, drink our coffee, and we're gonna keep walking. I think we're gonna walk around. Yeah, look at this. Now what better place to come to than the amphitheater to taste another sweet <laughs> snack. Now this is the one that I'm very excited about. This mm. is called frutone. Frutone. And it's also made with the same short crust pastry, but it's made into a little basket, then filled with some jam, an almond paste and topped with dark chocolate. That looks delicious. Wow. Definitely a little bit different. It's more like a biscuit almost. Fruity, almondy, chocolatey. Too fruity for me. Mm. 
it was actually quite nice. Too jammy for me. <laughs> Worth tasting, it's delicious, but I would definitely go for the pasticciotto. We have to try those in a few more flavors still. I see you. Okay, so this is the third wine we're talking about. And this is called Rustico. We're, we're sitting here in the city park and enjoying it. We just got some uh, takeaway from Cafe Leche. Cafe Leche. <laughs> just across the road here. Yeah. And what makes it a Rustico is the fact that it's got bachamela inside. This one's got bachamela, tomato, mozzarella, and I think he said some prosciutto. <laughs> the anticipation. This is like, hmm, it's like a mm. very light pastry. Very, very light. I expected it to be a bit more saucy and oozy, but it's not. This moment is amazing. I've got my own one. Mm. What's the size of my head? Okay, okay. Mm. Like camera trickery. Mm. 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 It's quite greasy. It's obviously a lot of butter in here. But damn, it's mm. delicious. Probably not very good for you, so maybe we'll be we'll stick to one. Eat. Eat. I'd rather look look for something else later. There's even an underground tour of Leche. 15 euro for a tour of Leche and underground. It's Halloween special. Only problem is it's only really in Italian. I promise you never come off above ground ever again. Sometimes you film with the camera and it looks like the lights are flashing because of the frequency. But this one's actually a Halloween special. Do, 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 do. You think the one building is ornate and beautiful and then you see the one next to it. Just look at that. These guys are like, ah, you think you got a cool building? Hold my beer and watch this. So this one is 15 euros. There's three different tickets you can get to see these sides. The up. The tower near the basilica is separate, it's 12 euros. This guy is 15 euros to get into. You can also get a 9 euro ticket which gives you access to about 4 or 5 different sites. It does include this one, it's for all the churches, but it's not for the ministry and not for the app. So you can go to the seminary, it's separate. Uh, that one's a 15. And we're back at the arena, looking for a cool spot just before the sunset. Because, guys, I hate to say it, but this is sunset. Yeah, we know it's gonna be good. We're not going to spend too much time on it. Oh my! Wow. It's delicious, crumbly, squishy. What's not to love? Mm -hmm. Look at this! Mm -hmm. My God! And this is. Uh, this is so good. Um, this is the best one euro fifty that you can spend. But damn! Look at this. It is so oh, good. Oh my God! Cheers. Mm. I think this should be the last one for today. I think I found my new favorite thing in Italy. And yes, I think now we can move to Puglia. <laughs> oh, we lost Let's, already. No. Let's go. To the oh, the street lights just came on. And we're in the side street here. Quite a bit of activity. But the closer you get to the center, the more busy it becomes. Yeah, we're still strolling around in the streets here. It's definitely coming alive. We're coming alive, but we, <laughs> our energy levels are deteriorating. Lisa's are still looking for something to eat, but I guess this is uh, what happens after dark, <laughs> even in winter. Not even, it's not even in summer. It's like um, it's a winter thing too. This is crazy. Oh, I see food. Oh, look at that pizza. We haven't tried that Chipola. one. Yeah. Anyway, it looks good, but yeah. very, very strange attitude. <laughs> yeah, it's best to avoid, I guess. Let's taste it first. Now, pizzo is not just the masculine version of pizza. Pizzo is different. This is a savory bread made with tomatoes, onion, and olives, all mixed together within the bread. And very often, as in the case in this one, the olives still have their pips in them. So we got to be careful not to break a tooth. That's I that nice. think the dough itself is um, tomato-y. This is quite spicy. But there must be pepperoncino or something in it. There's Ooh. definitely a spice. Did you notice that? I like it. Very good. You can see the olives. Very good. Two euro. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. But 
might cost you 100 euros in um, dental work. Yes. <laughs> if you're not careful. Delicious, but I'm not sure that it's worth the risk of biting into olives. Okay, look, unless something drastically changes, we're going to finish our pizza. We're going to walk around the town a little bit and try and avoid the chaos that is... Passeggiata. We're gonna, the evening stroll. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> la passeggiata is what happens just after sunset. Normally after a meal, but because it's winter-ish now, people come out early, everybody go for a walk. It really can get quite chaotic, but it's quite interesting and nice to sort of have a look around. And it really does feel like everybody is out. So if you are, do find yourself in an Italian village, in summer it happens quite a lot later, make sure you stay out until that time. To see La Passeggiata. We're going to wrap this up and we'll sign off this video tomorrow because we don't know where we will be tonight and tomorrow, but we'll see you guys later. Good yes. night. Good night. Never a good way to start the morning with a toolkit out. Uh, we've got some evidence of moisture here this morning. Look how wet it was wet. So it was raining. It was really raining hard last night, the last two days actually. So what I'm going to do is just take this outside frame off and see if I can see evidence of moisture coming through the window frame. At least we know that's the source. Actually, I, I hope that's the source because if it's somewhere in the roof, then it's a slightly more serious situation. So, so there is moisture here. Yeah. You can see it on my hand, yeah, under the... The window, oh, okay. No. Melly, you've got a giant, giant hole. I always said I wanted to do my own van build. And this sort of feels a little bit like it, with this giant hole. Okay, oh, oh we officially don't have a window. This is not good. Do you know how freaky this feels? This is a problem, I don't... Beautiful setting, at least. I don't even know how we're going to fix this. Okay, that's not what I want to hear. You can see it's got this little rubber grommet oh. that's supposed to sit inside and that's supposed to be a seal but what was keeping this grommet onto the the van that has completely gone loose so the water obviously can just run straight into the top here. All right we're getting somewhere this has uh, definitely turned out very differently to what we'd planned for the day. We have breakfast. We haven't had breakfast but at least our window is back in. Okay, it took a few hours, but back in business, I think we did a good job. We managed to salvage that seal. We had the right sealant with us to redo the job. Finally, we're going to head back to Lecce and go get some shopping done. And although it's already late, we're actually heading from here further south into the hill of Puglia. Now, I know what you're thinking. Is there further south? Yes, there is. There's quite a lot more to see, and we have to finally leave this town. Lecce was great. Lecce was absolutely amazing. One of the most beautiful cities that I've been to in Italy. Definitely worth visiting. And the more we talk to locals here, the more they say there is to see along the rest of the hill in Puglia. We still got a couple of interesting destinations in Puglia. So, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Don't forget to smash the like button and if you can share this video with a friend. Yeah subscribe <laughs> and we'll catch you next time. Arrivederci. Ciao.